this video, I'm going to show you how to make a health regeneration. So let's get started. First things first, we're going to need something to get the damage, like a pain causing volume. Might not be visible, but it's right here in front of me. And also a health bar. That one's optional. It's pretty much only if you want to know when the regeneration is happening. I'll leave the tutorial up here so you can go check it out and then come back to this one. Then you're going to come with me to the BP third person character. And then we're going to go into the event any damage. As you can see, we have our damage system here. And right now we just print the health if we get damage and it doesn't die, the character. So let's delete this one. Then you're going to get the false from the branch and look for the function set timer by event. For this one, we're going to need a custom event. So we search for add custom event, which we're going to call start regeneration. We're going to get the output delegate into the set timer by event. And then for the time, I'm going to set it on five, but feel free to modify it based on your needs. So this first timer, it's going to work as the delay for the regeneration to start. If you want it to start instantly after you receive the damage, you can put something really low like 0.1. But in my case, I want the player to be damaged for a little bit. So let's leave it on five seconds. Once this timer is completed, we're going to want to get another timer and connect it to the execution node of a star regeneration. Then we create another custom event, which we're going to call regeneration. We also get the output delegate into the event. But for this one, the time, it's going to be something like 0.1. And also we're going to check the looping option. Then we get the execution node from the regeneration and search for set health. Then we're going to get the health and the return value. We're going to add it to whatever value that you want the regeneration to be. In this case, since this custom event is being called every 0.1 seconds, I would recommend something like one. Therefore, you don't regenerate that fast. But of course, if you want the character to almost have the health instantly back, then this should be higher. Then the return value, we're going to connect it to the function clamp float. And then the minimum, we're going to leave it at zero. But for the max, we're going to connect max health. Then the return value, we're going to connect it to the set health. Now we're going to get the execution node from set and connect it to a branch. Then we're going to check if health is equal to max health. Then the return volume, we're going to connect it to the conditional. And then if this condition is true, we're going to clear both handlers. But for that, we're going to have to create a custom event, which we're going to call a stop regeneration. We're going to get the return value from the first set timer by event and connect it to something called clear and invalidate timer by handle. By default, it's going to connect the execution node to the set timer by event. We're going to disconnect it and then connect it to the custom event. And then we copy and paste and connect the execution node of the second clear and invalidate timer. But the handle is going to go to the star regeneration timer. And now we go back to the Boolean and on the true value, we're going to call the event stop regeneration. Also, just to prevent any bugs from happening, we're going to go back into the first branch, which is going to check if the player is dead or not. And then on the false, we're going to connect it to a stop regeneration. And then also to prevent any bug, just in case, after the print string dead, we're also going to call the stop regeneration. And that's all the programming that you need for regeneration. Remember, all the programming is going to be linked down on the description. Then we go back to the third person map and hit play. Now, as you can see, as soon as I start receiving damage, let's wait for the countdown, which is going to be around five seconds. And then it's going to start regenerating. And let me show you if we wait a little bit, like let's say three seconds, around three, four seconds, and then we go back in, the timer is going to reset before start healing again. And that's everything for this quick tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe to keep learning game development on Unreal Engine 5. See you on the next one.